Why the Four Seasons? Why the Four Seasons? Okay, I think a, pool, a fellow poolside guest this morning said it best. I overheard him talking to uh, his friend. He said, in quotes, it's the Four Seasons. You ask, and they make it happen. You ask, and they make it happen. Why did True Love and I come to the Four Seasons? First of all, we're here celebrating our wedding anniversary, our seven-year wedding anniversary, and basically, uh, we have a, a emotional connection to the hotel because we were so blessed to have our wedding reception here. Um, we, uh, that's a story for another day how that happened. Well, I'll tell you one reason it happened here and not at another hotel in Denver. Basically, True Love, in her brilliance, she created a bidding war between the Westin, the Four Seasons, and I believe maybe the Ritz-Carlton in Denver here. So like when we were getting ready to get married, we were looking for places to have the reception and we both have big families. And so we needed a, you know, a large space somewhere with a ballroom area. We have large families. And so True Love in her brilliance started calling up, boom, boom, different hotels saying, okay, this hotel is giving us this. Can you match this? Oh, uh, they're going to reduce the dollar per plate by this much. Can, can you match that? And boom, 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 boom. And so this hotel that we are in now had just opened and they were like, listen, we are here for you. We will accommodate you. Just like the poolside guests said this morning, you ask and they make it happen. The Four Seasons, okay, another, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna share a lot right now because I'm so excited. Uh, Ronald Reagan, where did, where did, how does Ronald Reagan come into this uh, discussion? Basically, he said back, I believe in the late 80s, trust but verify, trust but verify. And he was talking about the denuclearization of Russia at the time in the late 80s. So like he trusted that the Russians were stopping their nuclear program and expanding it, but he needed to verify it. Same with, I know that's, a, that's an interesting uh, uh, history tidbit to connect to the Four Seasons, but I need, as someone who appreciates uh, branding and companies and entrepreneurship and business models, I need to verify the service that we receive here at the Four Seasons. And so this is a book, it's literally called The Four Seasons, and it's um, it's by Isid it's about Isidore Sharp, who is the founder of The Four Seasons, and I believe he's still the chairman. He may have retired, I actually need to verify that. Um, so Isidore Sharp, he's from Toronto, Canada, and this book I read over the last three months. Come, come on in. <laughs> and so this is how I am verifying, uh, to love just arrived, by the way, here she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I just got done bragging about you. Oh, I love you. So, uh, this is how I am. So, I, I'm trusting the service that we're receiving here, but I needed to verify it and be like, how are they doing this? Every single time that we arrive, it's 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 verified in this book. And the business philosophy, the outlook on customer service is outlined very clearly in this book. And so how are we able to come here? Because listen, we know this you're paying a premium for the service you receive at these hotels. Like they are the gold standard of hotel uh, leadership and service and everything, food, oh my gosh, food in the entire world, the four seasons. And so how are we able to do it? Well, basically we pinch pennies, as you know. Like I drive a 2002 Toyota Corolla. Uh, yeah, I'd love a brand new car. I'd love a car that was built in the last decade, but that's not that's not that's not the reality right now. Uh, I I could easily we could well not easily, but we could have hired someone to paint our house. But you know, then you're looking at three to five thousand dollars out the window, and maybe we cannot afford to come in the lap of luxury and enjoy this space. And we would rather place our Funding. finances and our funding into experiences rather than um, material things like listen yeah a paint job could happen like that for three to five thousand dollars but you take some of that money that you would have spent painting and you put it into other areas yes I'm just the idea excuse me that you, you know everybody has decides what they do with their money and for us we found what helps us rest and renew our soul and our life and our marriage. And so we we just choose. Like, honestly, I feel like when you first hear it, you're like, oh, that'd be nice if we could afford to stay there. But truly, anybody can afford what they want. You know, if you, if you 
I mean, to a certain extent, but like, you know, if you're skipping out on Starbucks and you're trimming $15 off your weekly budget every week, and if you're picking up some babysitting jobs and selling stuff on Craigslist, and instead of like, I don't like jewelry, I mean, for us, it's the experience. So it's for us, it's getting to be, enjoy this life and, and, and the customer service. Yes, yes, the, the high quality enjoyment. It's just heaven on earth. And we were just saying last night how, how awesome it is that we both relax and get renewed in the same way. Like some couples, Need, you know, to, the, need to travel the world, or or like, like they, they want to go, they want to go run Ironman together, or they want to, <laughs> you know, like for us, we have our separate hobbies, and then like when we come together, this is what we enjoy doing: resting by the pool. Very much. They're resting by the pool. So, anyway, not to mention we got twenty percent off everything because we booked early. Oh, perfect. Boom! I didn't, even, I didn't even realize. Did that. you know that? Yeah. So that is why we choose and how we choose how we can choose the four seasons. We pinch pennies. We say no to new cars so that we can say yes to this stuff. And like, <laughs> yeah. we, we love that. Like we would rather put our hard earned cash into experiences rather than things. Even though someday, yeah, we'll, we'll need to upgrade our car. Anyway, we love the Four Seasons. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And um, here's just a few more clips from how Isidore Sharp has set up a system of customer service and just lap of luxury here at the Four Seasons. And, question of the day, how do you rest? How do you renew yourself the best? That's it.